Hello and welcome to highlights of the 2010 AutoGP Formula Sim Racing World Championship. Round 15 takes place on the tight and twisty streets of Singapore around the Mariner Bay street circuit. This is the first night race in the history of the FSRWC. Qualifying saw the top two championship contenders lock out the front row with Bono Huis edging out Bruno Marquez for pole. Ronnie Hamill qualified in third place, just ahead of David Greco in fourth. Dennis Hurl put his go-speed racing car into fifth position on the grid, ahead of Rasmus Tarly and Jarko Makona. Off the start line, Bruno Marquez had a lacklustre launch, and this allowed Ronnie Hannell to move alongside and then squeeze around the outside of turn one to move into second position. And just behind, Hurl ran wide through the chicane, giving Rasmus Tarly fifth place. Into turn five, Bell was almost squeezed into the wall by Tarly, and on the following corner, Bell then made an attempted pass, but the Precision Motorsports driver held his ground and defended again through the next corner. Tarly immediately launched an attack on David Greco, but the experienced Italian held a defensive line and kept his position. It quickly became clear that the leading Precision duo were much faster than their twister rivals, with Weiss and Hanel gradually disappearing into the distance ahead of Marquez and Greco. Tarly was holding onto the back of the twister cars while Hurl was slowly slipping behind in 6th place. On lap 6, Marquez made a small mistake, breaking a little too late, running wide and allowing David Greco to take over 3rd position. But 3 laps later, Greco hit an anti-cut strip and the Italian was lucky to avoid the wall. He recovered quickly, losing just 3 positions. However, Rasmus Tarly would then have an almost identical accident just ahead, spinning after also hitting an anti-cut strip, but avoiding the wall and making a quick recovery. Dennis Earl had now been handed fourth position just behind Marquez. Mikko Pumalainen was the next driver to clip an anti-cut strip, and he lost several seconds waiting for a clear track to spin his car back around. Unfortunately, the fin hit the wall in the process and would then have to battle on with damaged suspension. With a race win being more than enough to secure him the 2010 championship, Bono Huis was well on his way to victory lane, with a small gap back to Hanel and over a seven second lead over Marquez and Hurl. In ninth position, Boniatowski was leading a train of cars with Disley, Saxon and Patel right behind him, until a lapse in concentration resulted in Poniatowski hitting the wall at turn eight. With no front wing, he was forced to give way to those behind him, and as he called for his pit crew, he missed his braking point this time hitting the wall with enough force to cut his engine. It was a bad day for the SB Motorsports crew, with Boomerline and finally calling it quits on lap 32 after struggling with both damaged suspension and suffering pains in his leg. As the race went on, Bono Huis's dominance became more prominent, with the Dutch teenager continuing to storm away with the lead. Ronnie Hannel was comfortably driving in second position until a small mistake caused him to spin the car but the German recovered quickly, minimising his time loss. The second set of stops resulted in third place Bruno Marquez establishing a gap back to Dennis Hurl after Hurl lost a little time through his second stop. And further behind, Rasmus Tarly managed to just beat David Greco out of the pit lane, moving up into fifth position. As Greco desperately tried to hold onto Tarly's rear wing, he too clipped an anti-cut strip, spinning at turn three and losing any hope of reclaiming fifth place. Some consistent lap times allowed Lee Morris to catch up to 7th place Jarko Makonen. But Morris's race nearly ended prematurely when he locked up into turn 13 and narrowly avoided hitting the Armco. With Makonen having to drive under the limit to conserve fuel, Morris continued to hound the fin for 7th place until Morris lost control onto the bridge and hit the wall hard on the penultimate lap. Leading the Grand Prix from start to finish, 16-year-old Bono Huis took the chequered flag, securing the 2010 AutoGP World Championship with his 10th podium position in a row. With eight victories and eight pole positions to his name in the 2010 season alone, no one could argue for a more deserving champion than the young Dutchman. Ronnie Hannell crossed the line in second, making it a 1-2 for the Mac Core Precision Team, and Bruno Marquez finished in third. Dennis Hurl held on to fourth position, and Rasmus Tarly's fifth place finish gives Precision enough points to claim the Constructors' trophy. David Greco finished in sixth position, ahead of Jarko Makonen in seventh. With Huis secured in the top spot, the battle for second position in the championship is still far from over. Marquez's badly needed podium has helped him hold on to second place, but with Tarly just 18 points behind, he will need some more solid results in the remaining rounds. 
Precision Motorsports are now also secure in the top place on the constructors table and the team has already started to put their top drivers into the sister team, Matt Corp, in an attempt to chase down Twister for second place. Twister have a 46 point lead over Matt Corp and with three rounds remaining they will be under a lot of pressure from their German based drivers. The next round will be the Japanese Grand Prix. Tune in at 5.25 GMT on the 3rd of October for the Multi-BC broadcast. To watch the action live, go to www.formula-simracing.net and follow the links to the live broadcast. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. I'm Simon Adebisi and we'll see you at Suzuka for round 16 of the AutoGP Formula Sim Racing World Championship. <laughs>